I just flipped it up on its side so you can see the underneath. We'll start with the squirrel cage fan, which would uh, suck air into the machine, force it through a HEPA filter, and blow it over the disc. This is the bottom of the spindle that the disc is actually mounted on on the other side. You can see a device here that rubs on it. And rubs on the spinning shaft to take static electricity off of it. If you look very close at this disc, you can see a bunch of tiny holes in it. Those holes are read by this Hall effect sensor. Some type of Hall effect sensor. So that the control board on the other side of here knows what sector is being read off the disc. The disc is driven by this uh, fabric belt through the motor which lives on the other side of the shaft. It's kept tight by this idler wheel. Looks like this is the start capacitor for the motor. And these are two uh, relay equivalent electronic switches. They act like a relay. And they provide the power to the motor. This is the bottom of the HEPA filter. There is brought in through the bottom of the fan. Forced down through the HEPA filter. Some of it blows through the power supply to cool it, but most of it goes to the disc itself, to where the disc lifts. It comes up through this hole. Any questions?